to give so you an who, idea. Yes. So who who is the audience of this book? Who do you think will benefit? I mean, I can see the benefit, but in your in your like when you were writing when you were yes. editing this, well, what what you had in mind? Okay. <laughs> Well, you mentioned to me that you you were interested in Vedanta, mm -hmm. right? You yes. and you found somebody that could mm -hmm. teach you, and so on. And you know, your roots are in India, perhaps. I assume yes. from your accent that you probably yes. came from India, mm -hmm. um, or you had you stayed home with your parents a lot and just spoke the way they did, you know. No. But uh, and I, I enjoyed seeing your Indian recipes on your Facebook page. Oh, by the thank way. you so Indian much. Food. But. <laughs> I would say if you really wanted to learn Vedanta, you should read this book, you know, because <laughs> it addresses it, you know, it won't suit you culturally. It won't align with, you know, yeah. the kind of cultural package that maybe exactly. appeals to you and inspires <laughs> you. And I have to give you know, that's important. The, the package is really important for what awakens our heart. Right. As we yeah. move through life, it's like it's hard, as PB says, it's hard to appreciate the formless reality that we are. So we tend to project that inner self onto a teacher, a doctrine, um, something out there that appeals more to the way that we're structured as a person, as an individual. Yeah. But I think each of the chapters in this book go into some depth about the key areas of development that are required to become a sage. Now, by a sage, I mean not a religionist, not somebody who's just worshiping a god on Sunday, you know, and yeah. trying to live a decent life in between, but not necessarily a meditator. So, nor is it a sage... A, a merely a well merely is probably a it's a poor word because being a mystic is a, an amazing event in a person's development to be, Sorry. to be to become able to contact the inner reality and to contact layers of one's constitution let's call it beyond anything most of us know in terms of personality layers of knowledge and mm -hmm. you know that are available that come available in meditation the mystic path takes one to the inner reality of themselves but it doesn't necessarily explain the world nor the importance of the individual growth so uh, the the final stage really or the two state once i mean you say that the inner finding of a mystic but the final step is that, no, the world isn't real by itself. It's not like out there and I have to escape it. Right. Nor is the world an illusion because I found the, you know, the, the final unchangeable reality in myself. Everything else appears dreamlike or less valued. And this is partly what happens in mystical development is one's sense of value becomes totally absorbed in one's own inner being, right? And so then, but in between meditations, the thing is, is that it's not apparently um, available to humans to be in nervi kalpa samadhi, or they call it the void or the formless reality. You, you might be able to be absorbed for some hours although it's timeless but you know you come out you look at your watch oh four hours passed <laughs> you know like that it's it's kind of like deep sleep but conscious so consciously so you know if you're in a deep sleep time passes it's just like it's here i mean you, you fall asleep you wake up you look at the clock oh five hours just went by or six hours no dreams you know just it, but it's like that it just goes by so fast well the deep state is like that but, but it's not something that we c can just have that only and let our body die. You know, it's kind of right. like this. So the point of a sage is that the individual development is like, it's like the facet of a diamond. 
imagine a, a diamond is so large that each human being could be a facet of this diamond. And the diamond represents like the divine intelligence, okay? Like the universal divine intelligence that we all share. But you know, the individual facet, and I'll let you talk, yeah. the individual facet represents your individuality. It's you, Seema, you know, but not just you, Seema, mm -hmm. every other incarnation that you've had and the development that's brought you to where you are now. You know, the sage doesn't want to discard that. You become the mouthpiece for the divine within you. But what this book shows is the development that's required in order to become a vessel or more like, I don't like to say the word vessel because it sounds like it's separate from, but so that you are a clear emanation or manifestation of the divine. 